Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we see how Detroit celebrates opening day. And in keeping in ballpark fashion, we check out a Coney dog eating contest. And then we flip the tables and take a look at the upcoming Veg Fest. So stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. And here in the D, it's an unofficial holiday. It's the opening day. There are block parties everywhere. Radio stations are in on the act. There's music and bands and all kinds of fun things to do. They've got challenges for you to participate in. I mean, it's more than just a game. It's an event all over the city. Opening day means that baseball is back. Springtime is here. We've been through five months of brutal winter. I'm very happy baseball is back, and I think it's going to be a great year. The Detroit Tiger fans come out in full force on opening day, and they make it just a huge event across the city. It surrounds the entire perimeter of the stadium, from Woodward down to Grand Circus Park into Harmony Park. you got people up on rooftops, out on the street. Everybody's just enjoying the excitement, supporting the Tigers, and it's all in the D. It's all about being with the people, the people. Everybody down here Rotary. having a good time. Yeah. And being with everybody here. down here in the D. Uh, it don't matter if air. you're down here, if you have tickets or not. Limos. It's just about being down here in the That's D. Sick days being called in today. Take a look around. It's wall to wall people down here for the Tigers fans, and I'm in Grand Circus Park. I'm not even in front of the stadium yet. Look at opening day means to me a lot of partying and a lot of having fun here in Detroit, Motor City, and a lot of supporting the Tigers. A lot of supporting the Tigers. Are you kidding me? This is the best day of our lives, isn't that true, Allie? This is the biggest holiday in Michigan. Downtown Detroit is just as exciting as the actual game, although I love baseball. You're going to have a great, great dinner this evening. That's what it's about, yeah. having, having dinner in Detroit after the game, watching the game. It's going to be a great day. So it smells really good here. What are you guys serving? These are soda pop, pork shank, lollipops. It's braised in a Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. On the stand. You want to try it? I'll, I'll take a little bite. Yeah. We've also got our twisted mac and cheese. Twisted? Yeah, we have our in-house smoked chicken, cherry tomatoes, asparagus, peas, and our five cheese sauce. Oh, so you made it healthy. Yeah. Way to go. Yeah, all absolutely, right. absolutely. 98%, we make everything in-house, so we're all Michigan products. Twisted rooster? Twisted rooster. Look how tender that is. And that sauce is so good. Take another bite. Okay, wow, look at Meyers out here giving away free samples of ballpark hot dogs. So you get a little taste of one before you head into the stadium. And it's nicely grilled. Mmm, mm, hot dogs and baseball. Can't get more all American than that. You're down here with your little one for opening day? Oh, yeah, we're having a great time. Are you, now are you getting ready to go in or are you just kind of enjoying the party we're gonna, outside? We're going to give it a try and see how long she'll make it. <laughs> yeah. All right, you're creating a new tradition for the little one. Yeah. <laughs> She's adorable. Have fun. <laughs> you brought your grandson down here? Yes, I did. And then you, this is your third year? Yeah, we, we started when he was five years old. He's seven now. So it's become a tradition. Yes, how every wonderful. Year. So what does opening day mean to you? It's great. The city lies. The city's alive. Yeah. You excited for this Tigers this year? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry, like me. <laughs> we just love the people, the food out here, uh -huh. and just hanging out with the kids. It's How fun to be down here with, the, with your dad, eh? This uh, is the first year he's he's out here, so he's he's really. Um, so he's a rookie. Yeah, 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 he's a rookie. Yeah. And what do you love about it? I just like to see the Tigers play. Tigers. <laughs> and it's as simple as That's that. Beat it.
And of course, what's opening day without all the tailgaters? They've got their grills out, their coolers out here having fun, enjoying this beautiful sunny day. Life-size bobbleheads? <laughs> Plenty of great photo ops before you get into the game. Baby, the richest man in sports, baby. Yeah. Every single year since 1985, since I was a boy, I go every year. It's a tradition. The city looks great. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody's relaxed. I mean, it's wonderful, man. We got good weather. Family tradition every year. This year, I'm including her. It's our first opening day. Woo! Go Tigers! You never know what you'll see around the stadium, right? Here we've got a life-size, human-size Jenga board. They run the lead right to that ABC warehouse. No, 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 no. Whoa! There you go. I don't know if that's the right one. Being in Detroit, new team and new experience. I think so. I think she's going to be successful. Wild, wild. It was great to see all the Tigers early. Ah! You can see baseball fever is in the air and opening day is a huge event in the D whether you're inside the stadium or out here. Let's ride. And a downtown Detroit landmark, American Coney Island. And if you love these, this is the place to be. We're kicking off a Coney eating hot dog contest. So Grace, tell me what's going on here at American Coney Island. We're having the first annual Coney eating contest. How many Coney's you can eat in 10 minutes. And the biggest winners actually of tonight is Golightly Career and Technical Center. We've established a Kiros Family Fund Scholarship for the culinary students at this school. And it's so the kids of Detroit at this school that are going to the culinary world yes. will may hopefully one day be able to stay in Detroit, open up a restaurant in Detroit. So we're giving the proceeds all to that. Oh, that's wonderful. It's so wonderful. That, is that sort of what inspired it? That's what inspired it, the whole thing. A lot of people coming out for this. Really happy, including you guys. Thank you. And bringing some attention to downtown and kind of showing Nathan's and Coney Island in New York, like, you know what, hey, we can yeah. do it 10 times better than yeah. It's exciting. 
So we've got three of the judges here. We've got Rick Mahorn, Shane Carson, and Ken Cockrell getting ready to kick it off. Well, the excitement in the room is just about to be kicked off, and I'm going to hand it over to Tom Constant. I want to recognize people from the Go Lightly Career and Technical Center. Ladies, raise your hand back there. I also want to take the time and recognize our celebrity judges here today. Former mayor and current Detroit City Councilman and longtime, if not lifetime, Detroit supporter, Mr. Kenneth Cockrell Jr. Woo! Former bad boy of the Detroit Pistons, the legendary Rick Mahorn. Bad boy, bad boy, and Shane Collins from Wow Shane Wow, radio internet personality. Uh, we have another judge that's on his way. It's going to be Charlie Leduff when he gets here in a second. We'll introduce him. They're lining up the trays here for the Coney Eating Challenge. And of course, these are authentic Coney dogs. We've got the awesome chili from here at American Coney Island, and the onions, and the mustard, and they're just all that yumminess hot off the grill. They look delicious. What do you think about Coney's, as the, first off? Oh, I love them. I mean, it's, it's part of Detroit heritage, and you got to always have a Coney when you come in. Don't leave any on your face. Because <laughs> if you leave it on your face... Oh, come on, bro! I grew up eating these things. I've been coming to American Coney Island since I was probably about five years old. My dad used to bring me in here. Well, the main reason I'm here today is... Well, two reasons. One, it's a great charity helping out the DPS students, Go Lightning specifically. And then two, it's about American Coney Island and what they're doing along with the sponsors. <laughs> We are so excited that they are partnering with us and, and, and supporting our students with scholarships. This is just a wonderful thing. Thank you, buddy. Charlie, thanks for coming. This is the best restaurant in Detroit, period. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. You must eat the full Coney. That's defined as a hot dog and bun with chili, mustard, and onions. But the best chili and onions and mustard and bun that you'll ever have, you know that. You must fully eat one before proceeding to the next. Only the final coney will be counted as partially eaten. Coney's still in the mouth at the end of 10 minutes count only if swallowed. Contestants who do not keep food down for a minimum of 30 seconds after the conclusion of the contest will be disqualified. All right, and finally, let me talk about the prize package. What our winner will win, a $250 gift certificate to the Somerset Collection, a gift certi certificate to Michael Simon's Roast, and we have you get, I should say, a year's worth of free Coney lunches, one a week yeah! for a year. 15, I'm claiming it right now. I'm a strategy, just speed. Just keep going and just shoving them in. So here comes the girl. They're each starting out with one dozen per plate. And then of course they've got more when they finish those. Five, four, three, two, one, eat! Go, 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 go! Oh yeah. So we're about a minute or two into it. I don't know. Some guys are really going to town. Wow. The gentleman from Quicken in the middle. This is a close contest, I'll tell you. Unbelievable. We got some Coney lovers here, that's for sure. Savor every bite. Five, four, three. Slow down two, one. Go! Time! Larry, come here. Yeah, or, no, stay there. Stay there. Uh, and I'll stay here. <laughs> On the other side of the table. First of all, let me congratulate everybody here. I think they deserve a big round of applause. That was a hell of an effort. Thank you all. Thank you all, contestants. So Larry's the official winner. Right. Ten and a half hot dogs Lovely. in ten minutes. He's about to get the hot time, dog trophy. How does it feel to be the first Coney Dog winner? Uh, it, feels, it feels good. I'm, I'm a little full. Uh, probably not going to eat dinner tonight, but... <laughs> but you got a, you got a little, a little drink of mustard. Thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> now, are you going to go home and put this up on your mantle? Uh, actually, it's going uh, going to my desk at work. All my coworkers came out to support me. It's 
It's going right on the desk at Quicken Loans. It's going to support my team. Now, you had a big cheering section. Do you think that helped to lead to your success? Yeah. I did, absolutely. It was it was a mental thing. I knew everyone was behind me. I had the crowd. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. So there you have it, American Coney Island at Detroit Landmarks since 1917. And you don't need to have a Coney Dog Eating Challenge to taste some of the best dogs in town. Plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. The Fisher Theater will rock out to the tunes from Queen, then watch the Looney Tunes as the DSO performs. The Long Island Median will give readings at the Fox, and the Great Lakes Art Fair kicks off festival season. Detroit Restaurant Week returns with their spring specials, and Veg Fest is a vegetarian's delight with a taste fest and expo. The Harlem Globetrotters strut their stuff at the Palace, and the musical comedy Sister Act comes to the Fisher. Catch the Michigan premiere of the Andrew Brothers, then the Detroit Music Awards are in true Grammy style. Have fun seeing how Jacob Jeremy became a pirate, and the U.S. Olympic figure skating team headline stars on ice. Thomas the Tank Engine rolls into Greenfield Village and the Metro Times Blowout Music Festival is bigger than ever. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. All these people here are for a taste fest of a different kind. It's the Veg Fest at the Suburban Collection Showplace, and it's all about promoting a healthy alternative lifestyle. So apart from the great food, it's also an expo, and they have a lot of great things here that promote wellness, both outside and inside. We've got great smelling aromatherapy candles. So we have all these great things that really help promote that inner sense of well-being. They've got clothing here, a lot of great shirts. These are made from organic cotton, hemp items, and they're really, really cute. So all this jewelry here is vegan. There's nothing harmful in any of these products, all by, made locally by a vegan artist. And you've got some beautiful pieces here. You've got a lot of great things to taste. You've got jellies here made by a local restaurant, right from Eastern Market, the Russell Street Jelly. Jelly. Russell, let's see, what am I tasting here? Are we cooking certain places? Mmm, delicious. So, uh, it's like cinnamon uh, apple jam. It's delicious. Yeah, agave. Yeah, it's okay. The health benefits of agave. Oh, it's delicious. It's sweet. I love it. Michelle from Glass Academy. I know you. Oh, so what? What part do you guys have here at Veg Fest? Don't you know that to drink out of the glass is the best thing ever? You don't want to drink out of plastic. Glass doesn't leach. It won't have any harmful chemicals in it. So for Veg Fest, we did all kinds of fun stuff. We've got a rocks glass. We've got your smoothie glass with the straw. Oh, wow. Right? Summertime yeah. fun. Look at these. Look at your a blueberry oh. smoothie in that. Always that cool? beautiful. Oh my goodness, these are gorgeous. 
as you can see, it's a popular event. Yeah. It's, a, it's not a well-kept secret anymore. It is, it's not only Detroit's best, most exciting vegetarian taste fest and expo, but it actually has become the largest indoor one-day vegetarian festival of its kind in the country. Wow. Everybody's trying to eat less meat these days, yeah. but not, not everybody knows how to do that. Mm -hmm. And VegFest gives you the tools. If you look around, you can see all these great foods from restaurants and, and national vendors and local vendors. A lot of products you've never heard of, but they're, they're delicious. They're vegan. That means they're not made with any animal products. Not only are they not meat, but there's no dairy, no honey, no animal products, no eggs. So you can find ways to eat and things that you might not have tried before that are really good and you can get recipes and you can hear speakers talking about the vegetarian and vegan lifestyle and really just get your toolbox together and, and eat less meat and be healthier because of it. It's a perfect place to sample all kinds of things, yes. Well, should we take a quick look around? Let's do that. All right. There's a lot of, like you were mentioning, a lot of great local restaurants exhibiting here. We have a lot of great restaurants here at VegFest. Priya is one of them right here, based in Troy. Indian cuisine. Indian now this cuisine. is what I'm eating is tak, tak dal. It's tak dal. Tak dal. And some naan. Lent some so these rice. are lentils. It's made with lentils. Lentils are a staple of a vegan diet. Mm -hmm. They're so high in protein. Is it delicious? It is delicious. A little bit of spice. Okay, so we have here actual vegan dessert. What does Absolutely. that mean? Mm -hmm. There's no eggs, no butter, no milk. We also use no white refined sugars, and we use whole grain flour. And now, and then it ends up still being sweet. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. It's my first vegan cookie. Okay, it's a chocolate chip. With whole grain flour. That's good. That's is delicious. It, really? it is really good. Mm -hmm. This is sucanat. This is um, de dehydrated sugar cane. So it still has its mineral and enzyme content, and this is what we use primarily to sweeten our desserts. Even ice cream that's vegan? Even ice cream can be vegan and delicious, this I think you're about to find out. Cherry amaretto. Okay. Mmm, -hmm. it's creamy. Now, what? No. It doesn't have any dairy no in it. Eggs. What is making it so creamy? The coconut? Or? This is made with coconut milk. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like coconut. It tastes no. like cherry amaretto. That's right. Coconut milk is a great plant-based substitute for dairy milk. So is almond milk, soy milk. All those are fortified with vitamins, high in protein, and they're great tasty alternatives. Mm. Wow, look at this ginormous line. It's for Bold House Farms juice. They actually started out of Michigan. Well, let's try some. Oh my, it's very good. It tastes just like out of a juicer. It's really you wouldn't even fresh. know it was um, pre-packaged. Really it's fresh good. tasting, high in nutrients. So Cindy, this whole wall, this is all your presenters and speakers? You can come meet them? This is a chance to meet them after they give their talks. In fact, uh, Chef George Budatakis, he is talking right now. Having food with a story. Knowing where the food comes from. Not just the farmer who grew it, who grew it what the recipe, what the initial inspiration was. Then give it a twist so you can expose the seed. Look at that perfect avocado, it's gorgeous. You still should care for your body like it's the most unbelievable thing and a gift to God, from God. Everything you need to put in your body is organic and natural. I just think it's important to stop these kids from childhood obesity and stop blaming the government yeah. when it's not the government. Take, take control and be responsible for yourself. Do you. So what I do is I live in Los Angeles and I've worked as a personal chef for many celebrities out there. Woody Harrelson, Sigourney Weaver, Russell Simmons, Isabella Johnny. And so it's interesting because when you get into that world, you see that everyone wants the same thing. They want a ton of energy. Mm -hmm. They want to look amazing. Right. They want to feel good. They want to have perfect digestion. And of course, eating vegan and eating raw foods helps you greatly with all of those things. Well, Jason, we'll be looking for you. And you have beautiful skin, might I add, too. Thank you. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Genetics and the food. And the food. <laughs> So Paul, you're president of Veg Michigan, so what exactly does that entail? Well, it's a lot of work. Uh, we know we're all 100% nonprofit and 100% volunteer organization. So all this being done here is all volunteer. We start preparing for Veg Fest probably in December. Wow, okay, so it takes months. It's a great event, and what would you say to encourage people to come even if they eat meat? 
now I'd say that this is an event for anyone because everyone needs to talk about being a little healthier. Mm -hmm. Everyone seems interested in helping the planet these days. And let's face it, at the core we all love animals. None of us want to see animals suffer. Right. So it's a lot of great reasons to come here and just find out more about maybe incorporating a little bit more into your lifestyle. Well, I really think VegFest is a worthwhile event because it promotes awareness about a plant-based diet and the benefits of it. So you're really young to be here at the VegFest. Now, are you a vegetarian? I'm a vegan. A vegan? Yes. So you're, you're, how old are you? I'm 14. 14. Well, Cindy, thank you so much for the tour. I had a great time in VegFest. Is every spring? Every spring, VegFest. Look for the details at vegmichigan.org. Will do, and we'll see you here next year. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you would like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the to learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.